Hi and welcome to Next Edge. In today's lesson, we're going to be looking at the simple mistakes that annoy figure skating coaches. So before we even get started, I want you to check out the link below in the description for a free PDF guide on how to take your skating to the next level. It just gives you that extra bit of insight into figure skating. So as a figure skating coach, I love helping skaters fix their problem. Some are definitely more technical and then there are some that they can fix by themselves that they choose not to do. In today's lesson, we are gonna be looking at five of those and how you can correct it on your next practice. Session. So this first mistake that you can correct by yourself is going to be landings. I see a lot of skaters do a jump and then their body just drops and they give up. So immediately they've let that jump go when they don't have to. And it looks something like this. They set up, they go for their jump, they land, they don't like it here, and then they turn around and they're upset by the jump. And this follows you because your body remembers it. It remembers giving up on the jump. So you go for another jump and you're gonna give up again. It's a muscle, we have to train it. So you don't have the best jump, that's okay. But you need to make sure that you pull off the landing. Let's look at it again and I'm gonna show you a jump that isn't amazing and how you want to try to correct it and feel that strong landing position. So I'm gonna set up. I'm just gonna keep it simple with a toe loop. I do a toe loop. Not the best jump, but I pull up and hold. And my body's gonna start remembering what it feels like to have a nice landing because the next time you do a jump, you might have this perfect jump and a really bad landing. But that's because you kept practicing a bad landing. You want to stop that immediately. Ha okay, you don't have amazing jump. Pull up and finish it off. That way you're training your muscles to do that landing position every single time. Okay, now we're ready for our second mistake, and that is picking up your feet. A lot of my skaters or skaters that I see wind up not picking up their feet when they're moving from one element to the next on a practice session. This comes to affect your program because your feet aren't picking up. We're not doing nice edges. They're just dragging across the ice, and it looks something like this. I don't have any strong pushes. I'm just going from side to side. If your intention is to do an exercise where your feet are constantly just staying on the ice, no problem because that is an exercise. But what I want you to do when you're moving from one element to the next, you're going to pick your feet up. We're going to push. We're going to accelerate with every single stroke. That way you're practicing good habits. So again, let me show you the mistake one more time. So I might be going down the ice into a jump, but I'm skating like this and then I set up. No clean skating, I'm just pushing side to side and my feet are just gliding on the ice. Instead, I'm gonna have you follow me, I'm going to pick up those feet and push. I'm gonna try to accelerate every single time. Push and hold, push and hold, push and hold. Then you can go into a jump and you can probably see how much speed I was able to accelerate with all because I picked them up, I'm bending, I'm pushing, I'm not dragging my feet. So that is a simple mistake that you can fix on your next practice session, just picking your feet up. All right, now this third mistake that I see all the time is putting your foot down after a turn. You put your foot down because it might not feel comfortable, so you just drop your weight and put it down instead of fighting for it. Okay, it's not comfortable, but I'm gonna fight for that turn because the next time you do it, it will feel comfortable. And if you keep doing the mistake, putting your foot down, putting your foot down, it's gonna creep into your program in a step sequence, okay? So what we want to do is keep that foot up, fight for that edge, Ride it out and hold it. Okay, now let's look at the mistake, what I'm talking about. I'm just gonna take a simple three turn. So you do three turn, it doesn't feel great, foot down. And you can see how I dropped my weight in. It wasn't, it didn't feel amazing to me and I just kinda gave up. So let's look at it again. You do the three turn. Okay, you might have a little rotation and you put your foot down. Now I'm gonna show you the exact same thing again, a little rotation, but then I'm gonna try to fight to hold that edge a bit more. So I'm gonna go push. I feel a little bit of rotation. I wanna fight and try to hold it. 
And by you doing those simple mistakes, it's gonna improve your overall skating and it will also stop annoying your coaches. All right, now we're up to the fourth one and that is our upper body. We're always so focused on our feet that we forget about our upper body. I have skaters that come to me and say, all right, now I'm ready to get my upper body now that I have my feet down, but it's almost too late. So what we wanna start doing is incorporating our upper body along with the feet at the same time. So this is what I see a lot of. We have our feet down. I'm just gonna do a couple strokes, but my upper body is just dangling down. Nothing's going on with it. My feet know where they're going, but nothing's happening with the upper body. And this is a big issue that you can fix at your next practice session just by pulling up and being aware of your upper body because we know what our feet are doing. Now I'm gonna show you another example just so that you have a clear understanding of exactly what I'm talking about. So, mohawk, step forward. Mohawk, step forward. Now here, look at the difference just by pulling up. Mohawk, step forward. Mohawk, back crossover, step forward. All I did was pull my upper body up. I used my back muscles. I opened up my chest. I opened up my arms and I pulled my chin up. I'm not asking for skating like this because that is just slightly ridiculous. Someone skating here. So it's just eye level looking around and making sure that your eyes are up and shoulders are pulled back. Okay, now the fifth one is our demeanor on the ice. I can't tell you how many times I know what a skater session is going to look like just by how they take the ice. When they take the ice, their body language shows so much. It tells me what type of session that skater will have. They get on the ice, they skate over, they might put their water bottle down, put their guards down, and then they skate away and it's just here and then they get going. It's like it's almost a chore for them to get on the ice. What you want to make sure that you do is you pull up, you are ready for your session. You're mentally ready to do that practice session, to hit up all your elements, to go through programs. You wanna make sure that you are ready to go on the ice and that you're also happy to be there. You are happy to be practicing these elements because you want to get better. So what I want you to focus on is just your demeanor and how you take the ice for your practice session. So quickly, let's go over it one more time of exactly what I'm talking about. I'm down, my posture, I'm, my shoulders are forward. I'm just kind of dragging my feet. My upper body's down. I'm looking down at the ice. I'm not really paying attention to anyone else except me looking down at the ice. Everything is just nice and ugh, dragging. So what I want you to do is pick yourself up, pull your shoulder blades back, open up, look around you, and then you can skate, pulling up nice and fast, holding, pulling. You can do anything, but it's just pulling up. It really means a lot how you take the ice Whenever I see skaters have a wonderful practice session, any skater, they take the ice ready to go. They're ready to be there and work really hard. And the skaters who I see that don't accomplish a lot in a session, I can tell that from the moment they take the ice. Everything is just down. Then they start falling and then that just really, it just snowballs. So we wanna make sure that when we step on the ice, we are ready to go for our practice session. So there you have it. Those are some common mistakes that you can fix on your next training session. As you can see, a lot of them have to do with just your attitude and how you take the ice. And that is why they are so easy to fix. Now make sure you check out the link below for some free PDF guides that might just help you out. Thanks for watching Next Edge Tutorials and happy skating.